What's up everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today I'm going to be doing Sasuke and Itachi. Um, it's the one where reanimated Itachi has... Uh, goes head to head with um, Sasuke. So it's just before he turns to paper and for the last time and stuff like that. So real cool moment. I've done a speed draw of this as well. If you want to check that out, you can. This is a step-by-step -step line just for the lines. <clears throat> so um, we'll start with so right we're in right in the middle of the page two heads uh, pretty big and uh, bang in the middle so we're going to start with Itachi's nose that comes right down that line so we're just going to do sort of a line diagonal this way first So that's the bridge of his nose, okay? So then, this is gonna come around for the tip of his nose and come back into here. Then his nostril is just right here. Definitely use pencils for this, guys, and an eraser, because it's pretty complicated drawing. Two characters, you know. And uh, hit pause if I go too fast. So that's his nostril, and then the his the bridge of his nose goes up into his forehead here. So we're going to curve it back this way. So we have this sort of snaking line going down that way. So then just across from this line here. So we're going diagonal because he's he's sort of looking down. You know, both both of their heads are sort of facing down. So. We're going diagonal across from this line, just above his nostril here. The inside of his eye would be inside, would line up with the inside of his nose. All right, so just across from this line, diagonal going this way, we're going to do his top eyelid. So we're going to start here, just above his nostril, and then we're going to go diagonal this way. Okay. Then we're going to thicken this up, so we're just going to make it look like it's eyelashes. Just going across this way, and at the end, Itachi can have some, sometimes some eyelashes sticking off at the end here. <coughs> so his back eyelid comes down from that, so it's going to go diagonal this way. And then it's going to just curve a little bit down to here. And maybe some eyelashes down here as well. And then in here we have his iris. So he's reanimated, so he's got um, you know dark in here and then a white iris. So to do that, because he's he's looking this way. It's a skinny circle, so it's an ellipse or an oval. So you're just going to do the front of that eye. So you're going to curve it this way first. And then the back of that eye, so his iris, you're just going to curve it this way. And they can touch at the bottom if you want, or you can leave a gap. And maybe just I'll add an eyelash sort of coming off here as well. So above that then we have his eyelid, so coming up from here. So we're going diagonal this way, because that's the line for his head. So we're going diagonal down, and then diagonal that way. So if he had a cross mark, it would go diagonal here and diagonal there. Then the top eyelid line is going to come across here. And then his eyebrows just above that, so just starting about here. We're going to bring it up and across this direction, right? So it's sort of ticking this way, and then it's going to get real thin, go in this direction. So it's going to go, go past his eyelashes, and it'll go underneath his hair. So we're, we're going to draw over it with hair anyway. So if you have a pencil, you can rub out when it goes to the hair part. And then we can just 
sort of thicken up this this line here. And if you want, you can color it in dark because his hair is dark anyway. And you could add some, uh, you could color this in black if you wanted, or you could shade it sort of dark gray. I'll leave it up to you. So we will we'll now go down and finish Itachi's face down here. So from the bottom of his nose, we're gonna curve this around like so to his top lip. So we've got this kind of S sort of shape here on the front of his nose. And then this is gonna come around for his top lip there. So we're in, we're just underneath his eye. See there? So you don't want to go too far in here or too far out this way. This line is just underneath the inside of his eye there. And then this is going to curve around for his lip. And it'll go in towards his mouth. So he's smiling and his mouth is open. So we're just going to do a bend in this. And then a bit of a smile line at the end. So it's going to curve up a small bit just here. Right. So then this mouth is open, so we gotta leave a gap before the top lip starts. So about a gap this much, not too much, it's not fully open, he's just sort of talking and smiling. So then this will go join to here, like so. Okay. And then in there we can see his tongue so and some teeth. So we have a curved line for his tongue just here. And then his teeth just coming out from his tongue, maybe just here. And then up like so. Right, we'll go down to his chin and then we'll do his long hair just down here. So we have bottom lip curves around like so so look at the these all line up in a his nose this is the angle we're going down here so we're going that way so this is going to curve around like so you can add a line just here maybe a light line for his chin or for his lip the bottom of his lip above his chin and then this is going to come down for his the front of his chin and then it's going to curve around here so we'll curve this around like so and then we'll bring it up to his hair so we're gonna go we're gonna go this way so we're gonna curve it this way we're going to stop here because we meet Itachi's big long pieces of hair that come down his face. Itachi, Itachi. So, um, right, so we'll go back up here and we'll do that. So we have a piece of hair that comes down along his eye, just there. And then this is going to spike back up towards the top of his head, just up here. Like so. This is gonna be colored in all dark black, so you won't see any of these lines. If you wanna rub them out, you can. And then his long piece of hair is going to come out from here, just above his eye, under his eyebrow, just there. And then we're gonna bring it down towards his chin. Down about here, we hit a spike that goes back up. And then we go back down just to there. So this is going to spike here, spike here, and it's going to go up this direction. Like so it's hanging down the side of his face, and then we hit another spike, and then bring it up. This will go up towards the top of his ear, where his ear is like here, so. Like so. So his ear just sort of lines up at the top of his eyebrow there. So it's like just above his, just above this line, just here. That's where his ear will start, just like so. 
just across here and then it's going to curve around like that first and then we're going to bring it down the back here come all the way down and then just down about here across from the bottom of his eye just across here we're going to curve it for his earlobe so it's going to curve around and then go in this direction it's kind of going towards his nose diagonally then this will touch his jaw follow the line for his hair same direction and then it will curve in towards his chin so we're going to go this way and then this line might come in the other way in about here maybe touch his chin and then in here we have all bones and ligaments and lines for his ears so like a line here bumps around like a snaking line and then this will come around like so for another line inside that ear and then here too back up towards that okay so Itachi has that characteristic line on his face that he always has so it's just just beside his eyelash you're gonna start here and then it's going to start to come down towards the back of his mouth so it's going to go like that way and then it'll go underneath his hair so it'll go down that way he is reanimating there's all the cracks all over his skin but we'll do that after we draw in the main parts first so uh, he has some more hair spikes coming down here so just another one here and then this one is going to come up to about here and it touches a hair spike that's on Sasuke's head because their heads are together so to do that I guess we'll, we'll draw in Sasuke's hair spike just there and then this curves around here for top of Sasuke's forehead and head it goes that way and then Itachi's head comes off from that. So Itachi's head is going to go, so it's like, top of his head is like the same distance from the eye to the chin. So the very top of his head will be like here. So like the eyes are halfway down his head, see? So this is the line for the top of his head, the highest point because it curves back this way. So we're gonna go from Sasuke's head, and this is gonna curve around to this. So we're gonna curve it carefully to here. So that's, see, that's halfway. So from the eye to the chin, and then to the top of the head, the very tip top of his head. So then this is going to keep going to about there. So we're past his ear now. And then the back of his head is going to come down to his ponytail. So we're like here. So now uh, this ponytail comes out from his ear. So it comes out here to a hair spike, comes back down to a hair spike, just two of them. And this is gonna curve around now and go up to the end of his ponytail. And this is gonna go around like so. And it's tied just here with a, like a bobbin or two lines anyway, two curved lines just there like that. And then another one that goes in just underneath his hood, like so. There's just, they disappear in underneath his clothing, just there. So, 
Yeah, I guess we'll do that line for his clothing and then we'll do his neck inside. So we have, coming down from his chin here, we have the other side. So we're gonna go this way, going diagonal, diagonal down boop, to there. So we're going this way, it's just underneath his, the back of his head. And then this is gonna go back up to this part of the ponytail. So comes down to a V down here. So it's gonna bump and wave down to there. And then this line for his hood is going to go back up and around the back of his head, just there. So now in here we have his neck, his necklace, his collarbones. So coming from his chin, just here, like so. We have the line for his Adam's apple and his neck coming down this way. Like so, sort of waving S sort of shape there, skinny S. And then this will kick out at the bottom like that. So that's like his throat. So just under that then we have a line for his collarbone, just coming up towards the inside of his hood, just there. And we have another line for the inner part of his, of his cloak or his hood just here, coming down like so. And then his collarbone is gonna go underneath that. His collarbone on the other side, just here, diagonal up, comes over like so. And then you could have a, maybe a line for his neck muscle just coming down from his hair just here. So. so Sasuke has a necklace with like three circles on them. So one of them comes in from under his cloak just here. So it's half hidden. Another one right here under his throat, the line for his neck just here, circle inside. And then the other one just here. And they're joined together by a piece of string. And they have uh, just two bumps or rivets or something on the end that's holding them up together, just here. Like so, and then you join them together with a line, just a simple curved line that's going around his neck, around the back of his neck. Real thin. So, and then this is going to come down to there. Right, so the rest of his um, cloak back here, so we have the top of it. So it just comes up behind that one. The line comes down like so. In like that. Then we have another part, comes off my page there. And then this is gonna come down to here for the outer part, just like this one. So it's gonna go up this way. And it'll go just all the way up to here. So it's gonna go like so. And we might have a fold or two just along here. And then, so we have another line. They meet just down here. Comes around, like so real big, goes off my page just here. And then there's a bit of a zip down here. And then another line that goes all the way up to his lip. So it's gonna go. all the way up to his lip here. So there's an arm in between him and Sasuke that goes behind his head and grabs Sasuke's, the back of Sasuke's head, but we gotta draw Sasuke first before we do that. So um, we'll add some cracks and stuff just on Itachi's face. So 
just some light lines showing that his reanimated sort of form like this you're just drawing sort of random kind of crack lines just going across his face across his forehead adding them wherever you can fit them in one coming across his chin maybe back up under his hair and right the other side of his jaw coming down back up now this way to here this one will stay going so he's falling apart basically, so he's, he's, he's just cracking and all these are turning to paper and blown away or ash. Right in the fields. And uh, this one here. Going around his throat, back at the other side. And there's some on his clothes as well. They're kind of all over him. So there's some like on his clothing. Some over here. Up here. Don't worry if yours aren't exactly in the same places as my ones. Just add them wherever you think. You don't want to add too much. But I think that's enough for me. Okay. So Sasuke, we'll do Sasuke now. So we started the front of his head, so we'll we'll keep going with that. So we'll do his nose. So their noses are nearly touching. So it's a pretty similar shape. So we're gonna go diagonal that way, kind of mirroring this, and then we'll bring it down to about here. So pretty similar. And then this is going to curve around to his top lip, just like um, Itachi's. And we have his nostril just in here. And then we'll do his eye while we have this here. So just across from Itachi's, we have his top eyelid. So just across here. So just starting. So we have curve line for his top eyelid. Just here. With maybe an eyelash sort of coming down this way. And then we can curve this down the other side. So it's gonna curve down this way. Slightly different to Atashi's eye now, Sasuke's one. It's kind of rounder, more open. So it's gonna go down to about here. And just down around here, you can curve it slightly that way. And then we have an eyelid line just underneath here. And then in here we have um, Sasuke's iris as well. So we can only see the bottom half of Itachi's, but we can, Sasuke's like really surprised that Itachi has grabbed him, so his eyes wide open, so we can see the full disc the skinny circle so we do a line like so 
and then we can curve around the top and go back the other side. Like so. And then there might be a line just for the front of his eye, just there as well. I'm just gonna make this pointier a little bit at the end for his eyelashes. He's pretty surprised, so he's got some shock lines just around his eye. Just on the bottom there. And then we have his top eyelid line, so coming up from here. And then this is going to follow that same shape, that same line going this way. Like Atashi, he's, he's a pretty similar uh, eyebrow. So it goes underneath his hair, but we'll draw it in anyway. So it's just above his nose here. Like Atashi, same. Because they're brothers. So this one curves up like a tick. And then it's going to go this way. And it goes underneath his hair, like Atashi's one as well. And then you can thicken up sort of the bottom part here. Like so. Now, so right underneath his eye now, we can start doing his top lip, like Atashi's one. It's just underneath the inside of his eye, okay? So just here, we're gonna curve it around. This goes in towards his mouth, diagonal that way. And then his mouth is kind of open, just like Itachi's. So we're gonna go diagonal that way as well. So Itachi's goes diagonal this way, Sasuke's goes not as, di not as tilted, I guess, but um, still diagonal that way. Like so, and it goes down. He's kind of sad, he's not, he's not smiling like Itachi. So it's a downward end to the mouth. Tashi's goes across and goes up. Sasuke's goes across and down. And then the bottom lip is gonna come out from there. Doesn't go the whole way to the front of the mouth because his head is tilted. So the line, we have to keep the diagonal line, that shape, like we did at Tashi's. So this curves around like so. So they're all in line this way, look, diagonal. Like Itachi's. And then this is gonna go curve down to his chin, the front of his chin. And then it goes around and underneath the hood of his clothing. Might have a line for his bottom lip just there as well. And maybe some a line for just teeth just here. So quite a shocked expression on his face, you know, he's just, he can't believe it. So, yeah. Right, so same thing as Itachi, we have that long piece of hair that comes down from the side of his face. So, just coming down from his eyebrow, just here, beside his eye, we're gonna have a hair spike coming down here, goes back up, coming down here towards his chin, back up and then a piece that goes underneath his hood of his clothes or his collar should I say so we've a bit of a gap and this comes to here up here we have some hair spikes then just here then to here this one comes longer actually down towards his nose so it goes down to there then back up to here, and then last one into that other one we drew, just here. And a bit of an eyelid line just coming up towards his eyebrow there as well. Forgot that. Okay, so... We'll do Sasuke's hair. So... We'll do, no, we'll do his collar first, sorry. So his collar comes all the way back to here. And it starts here. 
So this is real big, so it goes all the way back. He's a real big collar on, so it's gonna go. So it comes down like so. And the the back of his hair is just here. So we have like a spike set here. And then this travels around and we have um, Itachi's hand on the back of his head. So, will we go from the top or the bottom? Let's see. Uh, right, so let's see. So the top of, so halfway, so we have, so the top of Sasuke's hair would be his head, and then he has some hair spikes would be here. So it's the same distance from say where the bottom of his chin would be from the eye. So see from here, from the eye to the chin, then up to here. That's where the top of his skull is, like so. So if you measure it, so imagine the bottom of his chin is underneath his collar, from there to there. Then he has some spikes sticking up here, off his head, like so. There is one, two, three, four, five, and then we hit Itachi's fingers and we can see his thumb as well. So, do do do. I think we need Sasuke's ear first. So we have a spike here and then a spike here, here. Because if we get his ear in, uh, we'll know where to put the hand then. So, so this goes up, like so. Real long, and his ears starts sort of, sort of across from his eyebrow, but a bit above it. So it's like a little bit above the eyebrows because the head's tilted. So we're gonna go there, just up here, and then this curves around like that. And then, like Itachi's just underneath that eye level, it comes around for his earlobe, back in like that. So it's diagonal, that diagonal line, see? So if it's diagonal, it lines up with the eyebrows, the bottom will line up with the nostril, and then his jaw will come down from that. Just down to there, curve around a little bit like that. Won't go the whole way. And we bones and ligaments inside there then. Curve line, like so. Inner ear lines. Ear lobe curving around like so, and another line just up here. So we've more hair comes down from here, then goes underneath his collar. Another line there, and another one just here. Okay, so. So Tashi's hand is just above the ear. We can see his little finger just there. And then these hair spikes. One. Another one here. So we'll do these spikes first so we know where to put um, Itachi's fingers. So another one going that way. Spiking up, going diagonal that way. And then we have a small one here and in here is where we'll have Itachi's thumb, right? So we'll, we'll, we'll leave this gap and then we'll do the hair spikes down here, right? Because then we'll know where to place it. So we'll do another line there, another line there, spiking up and down. One spikes to here. And then another one comes out here. And this is the last one and it hits his little finger. So that, that's the bottom of his finger. So the lines for his knuckles are just along here. See, so we have a gap now for his hand. So, so his little finger just starts above his ear, just here 
on the back of Itachi's, or on the back of Sasuke's head. So the knuckles run along where Sa the, the line for Sasuke's head would be. So just imagine this line keeps going around like so. And then we have the knuckles just sitting on his head, grabbing his head. So we've a line diagonal like that. So this is the little finger we're starting with. And these are gonna go up like steps of a stairs. So this is gonna go across then. And we're gonna go around his head now. So we're gonna go across, up like so. Then we go across for that knuckle. This is his ring finger. So this is the knuckle for the little finger, knuckle for the ring finger. This one comes up like that then. This one will come across like so for the middle finger. And then the index finger is just here. Then there's another spike touching his index. So you just have a line down here and then a line that comes down and touches his thumb. So his thumb's here. His thumb is like in line with the back of Sasuke's ear, like so. Right, we'll start with the index and add those finger details. So we're gonna just extend this line to about there. Then we're gonna bring it down to the tip of his finger, curve it around the bottom of his index finger, and we'll bring it back up to that hair spike just there like that. There is a fingernail just there on the top. Curves around like so. And then maybe the other side a little bit there as well. You could add knuckle lines and stuff if you wanted. And then his middle finger, so extend this down. So we're going down this way, curving down, following the shape for Sasuke's head. So that's the curved line where the knuckles are. So we're going this way. And then this is gonna go down like so. It's gonna go back around, come up into the index. And then we have his nail to here. This ring finger then, same. You could add some knuckle lines, skin lines. His ring finger is the same, so it's gonna go down like so. Curves around, and then we have fingernail, and then maybe some knuckle lines just here. And his little finger, same thing, comes down like so. Back around, smaller than the rest, and then a small little fingernail, maybe a line there like that. So you see it's following that shape. So those fingers are sort of curved a little bit. Tricky to get hands, take your time. And then just the last thing is just his thumb is coming through right here. You could finish with a spike if you don't want to draw the thumb. You could just bring that spike in here and imagine the thumb is hidden underneath Sasuke's hair. But I'll draw it in because it's in the picture. So we're gonna curve it for his thumb knuckle. And then this comes around and up to there. And then his thumbnail just in here. Curves there, you can see a top line, and then there like that. Uh, right, so the rest, rest, uh, rest of Sasuke's costume, his clothes, so we have the collar, comes down like so, bumps a few times, and then comes down like that. The other side then, comes down in like that. We have a bump for a fold for clothes. We have a line for his shoulder, just there. And then we have some more folds. So top of his shoulder just here, back of his shoulder just there. And some fold lines for his clothes. Just here, one here, one there. And then we have a zip just here. Might be a little double line just there for the front of that. But I'm not sure, but I think there is just there. And we can see Itachi's sleeve, just at the back of Sasuke's head. Boom. And then the rest of Sasuke's arm, just in between, just here. So in the gap here between their noses, we can put a V just for a fold 
for his clothing, just like that. We'd set, uh, Itachi has another piece of hair that I forgot that comes down from his lip on the other side, so we have two spikes. It's that long piece of hair that hangs down the other side. You can see it's just coming back here and up between their hair there. And then more, more lines for his arm and his clothing just coming here. So one, four lines, diagonal lines coming down and off my page like that. So that's the folds for the direction for his arm. And then nearly there. So fold line there, fold line here. One, two, three. Yeah, one there. And then he's got sort of, you know, resurrected crack marks on his, some anyway, on his costume just here too. And one, two, maybe another four line here and one or two down here and one there Boop. Uh, da, da, da. let me see anything else I'm missing it's a complicated one so I probably missed something but um, that's it I think yeah Pretty sure that's it anyway, not sure. <laughs> I'm trying to see if I missed anything. There's people screaming at the screen right now. You missed is this. No, I think that's it. Itachi and Sasuke. Thanks for watching guys. Reanimated Itachi and Sasuke. I'll see you in the next video.